Hi everyone, so today's reading is going to be about any relationship that comes to your mind. This can be platonic, familial, current, past, future. It could be a toxic relationship, it could be a healthy relationship, one that's nourishing, one that's draining, someone who is no longer with us. Every single relationship has an opportunity to present you with blessings if you so choose to take them and so that's what we're going to be exploring in this video so i want you to take a look at the cards and see which one resonates most with you and i'll see you at your pile if you're still watching this and you haven't already jumped forward um i do want to say i am getting a channeled song and i will link it below and um, if that particularly resonates with you for any sort of reason, um, feel free to watch it. And there may be some hidden messages in there for you, um, whether it's in the music video, the lyrics, or even comments that are left below if the comment section is open on the video that I feel drawn to. And also, as always with my pick a card readings that I've well, I've only done another one like this, <laughs> but what I'm going to continue to do is I'm going to meditate after I do the readings and I'm going to pick a particular spot either for all the different um, piles or I will do one cohesive video if I feel drawn to do that and so I'll do an overlay and if there are any hidden messages within that video as well then hopefully you'll be able to catch them. I will keep the full length of that video that's overlaid down below beside your pile and you know you can go watch it if you feel drawn to and that's it. Okay bye!
Hi, pile number one. So the card that you chose is the throat chakra. And when I was meditating on your pile, I was seeing the number 444. And what that tells me is this particular relationship is destiny and why it's destiny is because it's a way for you to help teach you about yourself. This relationship proves to you that you are guided, you are seen, And you do see the synchronicities that you needed to notice, which proves to you an increase in communication with your spirit guides. It proves to you that you are heading in the right path when you start noticing these synchronicities, mentally or even physically what you're doing, the changes that you're making in your life. It could also be an indication that you have moved or are moving or they're just fast changes in your life facilitated by this relationship and what you've learned in this relationship. One of the main things I see that you've learned in this relationship is accountability. Accountability to face yourself completely and accept yourself wholly, the good and the bad. Accountability for your happiness, for your thoughts, for you needing to communicate your needs and desires. And this relationship set you free from, from earthly limitations placed on you by you and society for society. This relationship open your eyes into seeing and recognizing what is harmful to your life. Whether it's thinking patterns, habits, beliefs about your journey and how other people see you. Either way, it's empowering you to clearly see what you want, why you're here, who you are, and the path of transformation to get you to where it is that you feel you should you belong where you should be it's an opportunity for your tenacity to really shine through and your optimism to improve because it shows you where you've been lonely you're able to recognize that you're able to recognize through this relationship how you may have been isolating yourself. And it's just this avoidance that I feel in the past prior to this relationship of your own feelings, your own, your own emotions of saying, maybe I'm too much or maybe I'm too emotional or maybe people would be afraid of what I really want or maybe I won't receive those things or I don't, I don't want to be a burden or I don't want to seem a certain way or some something that's that's muddy, muddying up your path towards what it is that you truly want. And this relationship has helped you bring back that sun that absorbs all of that mud, <laughs> clears the path to what it is that you feel you deserve. And you being comfortable in saying, I'm not afraid of being alone. And I'm also not afraid to say when I want companionship, when I crave that companionship. And you rediscovering that self-validation. And I see you spending a lot of time lying awake at night, thinking about the way that you've changed and having a plan of action. It's like you having this peace, peaceful mind. It's like a meditative mind where you dream of the action that you feel you should take. 
and that brings you peace in the day for you to take those clear and concisive steps towards your motivation. It's like that rest that you're getting from being up, planning what it is that you want propels you, motivates you, encourages you. And then that, it's like a cycle. Then that energizes you to be even more motivated. And there's something about this relationship. That it helps you recognize where other people are sleeping. Like they're sleeping on their own potential. Or they're sleeping on their own self-worth. They're sleeping on their own inner beauty. And you're able to see their inner beauty. You're able to see their self-worth. It's like this relationship has helped you with your inner vision and belief in yourself that has expanded your awareness of that beauty in other people. It's helped you appreciate other people in the same way that you've learned to appreciate yourself. And, and this relationship, it's like all of this in your past that I've talked about, it slowed you down mentally. It slowed you down to where now you've come out of that. You've come out of the fog. You've come out of the mud. And you have sharp vision and new perspectives. And you seek new perspectives. And with that, it's, it's this feeling where everyone around you like when they sleep when they rest like you are just working hard like you're unstoppable you're an unstoppable force or it's like when they have to think about something you just adapt and shift very quickly And I see, I see the ugliness of human nature. I'm seeing that brought up. Um, like sometimes, sometimes humanity can be so ugly. <laughs> and there's this part of this where you being able to see that things aren't the way that they seem. It's like you being able to see through things. Um, like you having hope, you having a vision, you having a way, I don't know, a way out or a way through. Just like a beautiful mind, a beautiful, beautiful hope, beautiful vision, and belief in yourself and others. Like this, this relationship really showed you that you don't have to. You don't have to confine yourself into a bubble that everyone else around you seems to operate in. Like you're allowed to be different. Like it, it, there's this feeling I get of a disease. Um, And it's, it's like, a, the way they're showing me is like a disease that's caused because actions have consequences. So it's like, actions have consequences, so you better face it in order to do better. 
right? Like that's part of the accountability. And so there's, and, and wisdom, right? Like you recognizing that, you facing it, you going forward, like that's, that's the wisdom. So it's this feeling like, well, do I, now that I've gone through that, I'm now at the crossroads. Like, do I transcend or do I keep the chains on me? Do I stay bound and captive? And you choosing to release. It's like, I release, I release. I won't be captive any longer. Like no struggle is insurmountable. And you can trust yourself. You can trust yourself because you can trust your angels and you can trust that you're not alone. This relationship has really taught you that. It really, really taught you that like, you have a right to pursue what's in your heart. Like that's your divine right. This relationship taught you, again, with the disease, it's, it's almost like a disease of the mind, like depression, you know, or negative thoughts or fearful thoughts and how to transmute that into strength and forward thinking and gratitude and again, accountability for your struggles and, and use that as a catalyst to push you out of your discomfort. You really and un un unbind yourself from that heavy, wasteful, exhausting, exhausting emotion of of regrets, of guilt, obsessive negative thoughts, and allowing you to forgive, forgive others, forgive yourself, and move towards the light, and to recognize that there is more recognize that you deserve a chance recognize that you will fight for another day recognize that you want more and you need more and you deserve more and to and this relationship has really shown you the potency of your words to yourself to others and because it's so potent I feel like that's also where that buildup of disease is showing me is because with the throat chakra, it's like the more that you hold that within yourself, the more that starts hurting yourself too much, too much pent up, pent up, pent up when it needs to be released. And as you speak up, you begin to understand yourself more. You begin to understand your needs more. You begin to understand others. You become more creatively inspired. You can think better, you can move better, you have healthy choices, you have healthy decisions, you have healthy relationships, and it gives you energy, right? Releasing it gives you that energy. It doesn't hold that tension within you. So this relationship ultimately has taught you to move towards self-empowerment, self-love, a deeper connection with spirit. And recognizing how everything in life has its purpose. Every person has a purpose, irregardless of how they look on the outside or even what society says about them, everyone has a purpose. This relationship has brought you a lot of inner peace because it's brought you a lot of inner strength. And through that strength, it's, it's shown you that you can speak out about yourself or you can do the things that you feel could bring you happiness, could not. It's worth a shot so that you can find more out about yourself. It's really given you a chance 
a chance that seeing what else is out there, like what's more, what's beyond the bend? Like what, what, you know, with the throat shocker again of like, what could I produce with my voice? What could I produce in this life? Like, what am I capable of? What next? What's more? And it's not in the sense of always reaching for something because you're unfulfilled. It's saying, I'm full. I'm full. The more I release, the more I'm filled. And the more I'm comforted, and the more I feel at peace. So that's what I see. And I will see you in my next video. Bye. Hi, pal number two. So the card that you chose is Choose Wisely. And it's card number seven, which as I was meditating on your pile, I was getting the numbers seven, 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 seven. To which I feel this means that you make really good decisions. You have chosen wisely. And that this is a very profound destined connection. The energy that exudes from this pile feels gentle and nourishing and healing and I get the word fertility and it feels to me fertility in the sense of death and rebirth like renewal like new life new chances new opportunities New opportunities to see how gentle the world can be and the longevity that love can really have and how that can endure and the kindness that people have and how the world is actually here to help us. It feels like there's a recognition and understanding of how harsh the world can be, how harsh love can be, how intense and the ups and downs of some relationships can be even passion passionate connections like it can be intense but it can also be very beautiful but this relationship i feel has taught you that even in sacred connections it can be gentle it could be calming it could be all of those things but feel peaceful like it could still have passion but it doesn't have to feel that intensity that seems out of control. And that you're allowed to take your time. You're allowed to listen to yourself about making choices. Like you don't have to be pushed. And you wouldn't be pushed by the right person. It feels like there's a lot of opinions surrounding this connection or even the way that things were in the past where you may have fallen to the pitfalls of listening to people who are not the proper authoritative figures in certain connections or even in your life in general and this relationship has really taught you that having too many options or too many opinions can really dampen your power like the choices within you ultimately your choice um, of what you want to do in your life or the connections that you want in your life that all is up to you you don't have to ask other people you don't have to look for guidance from other people you can trust yourself like you are the one that's in control of your destiny and you know proper willpower and determination and strength is is really what's going to 
help you choose. In this relationship, it feels this taught you not to be passive. Like there's a difference between taking your time and there's a difference between being meditative and uh, doing things right, but also procrastination and how that can be masked as being a perfectionist or meticulous, meticulous or, you know, whatever other kinds of forms of self-sabotage because it's a lack of movement, right? And this relationship taught you, okay, you know what? I can let go of the details. I can just go with the flow. I can just feel it out. I can just make a choice. I can just keep going. Like that's better than just sitting back and being unsure than becoming anxious. This relationship feels like they are showing you that you can have a connection where you could just coexist and acceptance of you of, of saying, well, you know what? You decide what you want based off of your values. And if they align with your values, because you've learned like you've you've gone through that process of self-discovery of deciding what is right for you so you choose you you empower yourself you make a choice but at the same time it's just coexisting and being okay with that you can also co-evolve Right? You don't have to just live separate lives. You can also both grow together and grow separately. It feels very gentle and easy and soft. And again, this, this reminder that this relationship serves, that life does support you and it's okay to ask for help it's okay to ask for opinions it's okay to not take the help or opinions <laughs> but there's that feedback loop that feedback loop of of you know you giving help to others because of your experiences or your knowledge or your availability to do so and you receiving help and how it takes courage and vulnerability to be able to do those things, to ask for assistance and also to accept assistance. So there's a lot of heart healing from this connection. And this feeling of you recognizing it's almost like this exceptional friend or exceptional lover or an exceptional connection that you discover through this connection of someone who shows you you're not invisible Or you being able to show people that, you being able to, say, to, to express to other people, you are not invisible, you are seen, you are heard, you are loved. And it's this deepening of, of understanding the intelligence of the spirit, like of God, like spiritual intelligence and the, the attention to detail that spirit has and you embodying that, you embodying that attention to detail, you embodying that adaptability, you embodying um, not being so hyper-focused on perfection 
for? What are all my options? What do I do? Who ha who can direct me in this? Or, you know, it's like you just going with the flow feels very mystical. And soothing like the way that they're showing me is a forest with like these grand oak trees you know those arching branches and the moss growing from it and how even the moss is a living organism feeding off of the tree and everything that exists all within there and that that coexistence in there and that co-evolution in there This, this relationship has really taught you to love. To love in a gentle way. To love in a calm way. In a patient way. And, and to see the difference between the patience and the stagnant type of relationships where it doesn't go anywhere because of all of these other different issues that aren't being addressed. And it helps you see forever, it helps you understand forever, the forever bond, that love, that, that thread of love and how that never ends. It's like the connection that you have with everybody and the connection that you have with spirit, how that's always intertwined, irregardless of the way that a connection evolves. That love will always remain. It doesn't change. The perception of, of that connection may change, but the love doesn't ever change and it doesn't ever go away. That threading between everyone is still there. And again, you know, I said fertility in the sense of renewal and re and new life and, and uh, again, that nourishing feeling. But I do see if this is a romantic connection, um, really an opportunity for a, a, a love, a love that continues a legacy, right? A love that continues to evolve. Because they're showing me how when people have a baby and how that genetic code is imprinted onto the baby and the spiritual code as well. So it's a genetic and spiritual gene as well. And how that reverberates in the physical world, not just the energetic sense. And how this, this particular person will respect your journey or has respected your journey your journey towards yourself and towards, you know, a connection with others and does respect you taking your time. So I see it's like, there's this wording that I'm getting where they're saying, no matter where I go, the light is always shining on me. No matter where I turn, I always turn towards the light. And the light is representative of a connection, a, a sincere, sacred, soul, deep soul connection. And they're saying like, you will always be in my heart, you will always be in my spirit, you will always be here.
and this respect that I see uh, towards you, um, this this and this is this blessing of of acknowledgement that no matter what decision you choose in any aspect of your life, there is a purpose for it. Whether you understand that or whether other people understand that, this individual that you um, are inquiring about has taught you and can see this in some perspective, whether this is uh, their higher self or has verbally or wants to verbally express this to you is I respect your decisions and I know and I trust that whatever decision it is, is the right one for you. I trust you. And I trust that when you feel it's time to make a decision, you will. There's no need for to rush. There's no need to place expectation. I support you. Like I see you. I see you. I see all of you. And I understand you and I love you. And this connection really shows you that even in the stillness, there's no need to worry. So you know that, that quiet silence where you can't hear anything or no one's talking in a conversation. And then sometimes there's that feeling of panic to fill the void, fill the silence. It's like, there's no need for that. I can trust, <laughs> I can trust in this. I can feel safe in this. I can feel, I can feel that I am recognized and I am acknowledged and I'm seen and that I'm cared for and that I'm loved and accepted. This is a very supporting energy. And in being supported, this gives you the opportunity to support and to see how good that feels. Or you, if you are the one who's always giving and giving and giving, it's feeling the other side of it. What that feels like to, have, to be given to, to be able to say, hey, I need something, I want something. It feels like this connection is teaching you or has taught you or has shown you or at least some blessing that's tied within this is, is this feeling of getting along, what it's like to get along and to, to, to explore explore different things like trying new things or there's new foods new cultures new styles like there's something that uh, this this relationship allows i think you can just simply keep it at that is that this relationship allows and it's selfless and humble So that's what I see, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Hi, Paul.
pile number three. So the card that you chose is Trapped in Fear. And I'm picking up a song. So I'm going to link it below beside your pile. And I encourage you to watch it. There should be some hidden messages within the lyrics, the music video, or the comments below that particular video. And I'm getting a message of forever. It's this feeling of forever trapped in fear or forever pain, painful memories or painful connections or painful, like, lo like love hurts or understanding the cyclical nature of connections and feeling like it ends, like love ends or connections end. It's a feeling of being out of balance and feeling like I don't want to feel this feeling or I don't want to see the bad in people. Like the, 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 the horrible side of connections. It's like, I'm a good person. I'm a loving person, but yet I have been victim to being a pawn in someone's game. And this is a little bit different pile for me in the sense that there's a message coming through from spirit saying that you are gifted. It's like a soul gift of you being someone who is able to focus on love irregardless of the circumstances and you being able to see the good in other people and you to be able to see the good in humanity and in the world and recognizing pain in people or the, the healing that needs to occur on earth. There is a wound, a deep wound in the collective thread of humanity that you have incarnated into this life to really show up, step up, and lead. Feels like you're a light worker. And I'm hearing the word that brings me back to visions I received since I was a child of legions of angels, which I I see now as being light workers. And light workers I see as originally those that are represented as um Atlanteans and beyond that as well but I see them as being pure 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 highly evolved um, beings and this is you you're a highly evolved being that is here to shift the consciousness of humanity to flip it upside down and back to where it belongs because this this world is uh, becoming a little you know different <laughs> um, it's shifting it needs to shift it, it has a lot of uh, change that needs to happen and so you are they're showing me a old house an old house and how the framing of the house um, I'm asking does it have good bones you know like some homes have good bones and you shouldn't just tear a house down because a lot of times the, the integrity the structure of the house is very solid uh, and it's like you don't you don't get that, that type of material anymore and spirit saying yes it has good bones 
but the the details it's like a cheaply it's like the the structure of the house is very nice but the details of it are cheap and so it's this feeling that generation after generation after generation people have been trapped in this home but through weathering the storms and through weathering time you have finally incarnated you have finally incarnated into this old home and you have been able to see now is my opportunity and they're showing me dracula now and how the guy i can't remember his name but the the one that's in dracula he escapes he's the only one that's able to have escaped dracula and um that's what i see with you is you escaping that and it's like you have been a uh, prime for this opportunity where you know the the windows are rotting um the walls are 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 you know um have bent enough that they you know bent and shift that you're able to find weak spots and break out and break through and change everything and so really this this pile i'm seeing heavily on spirit showing you instead of really addressing or maybe it is addressing the connection and i'm not you know making I'm, I'm i'm just telling you what i'm seeing right but what they're they're expressing to me spirit wants to really talk to you and they're saying you know you are so special and unique and different you are set apart from the vast majority of people in this world in this life because you've been chosen um, through through the beginning of time honestly this is part of your journey and so yes you were chosen then but you have you have chosen this role um, it was it was threaded into your DNA as you had been created since the beginning of time that you would be placed in this time to to assist in the evolution and the shifting of humanity. And so every horrible experience, every painful experience, every um, dark experience that you may have felt or the fears that have held you back in the past this relationship is really causing you to see your worth and for you to see the opportunity to step up and break through and to see who you truly are and for you to make a decision for you to say okay you know what this is what i need to do and i won't be afraid it's like facing the darkness head on and saying, you do not intimidate me. You do not bring me down. You do not control me. And the way of doing that is to see the good in other people. For you to see where everyone has a purpose in this world irregardless of the things that they have done to harm others you being able to see the light and you reaching for the light and that's not to uh, absolve them of the things that they do or to accept the things that they do is to say I understand that you struggle. I understand that there are some things that I won't be able to fully grasp or make sense of in this life, but I won't fixate on it. I will turn my gaze inward and onward and do what I am here to do in this world. And it, this this connection is really allowing you the opportunity to realign yourself to what it is that you're truly meant to be. And to take every opportunity that's presented to you and to see it as an opportunity and, and what that, that can 
comparing what can what that can prove to you it's almost like what you can prove to yourself or what you can prove to others mm -mm. he's not proving because you don't have to prove anything to others it's you you proving something to yourself and through all of this inner proof you 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 get to a point where you realize I didn't need any validation at all because I know I inherently know it feels like this this connection is showing you that it's not devolving because I'm seeing numbers going down it's like nine eight seven six five four it skips three it skips three and goes to two because they're showing me that three is an offer Two is you and another, and, and that other is someone that you, you just have to offer, it's like I offer you, um, I offer you I don't know how to word it because you're not giving them your light, you know? I mean, you are, but it, it's, it's... When it comes to source, when it comes to, to light, it is never ending. So the, you can never give and it not be replenished. So I want that to be clear. So it's like when I give light, I will always have that. There will never be an empty space. It is forever and ever and ever unfolding. And so you are offering light to the dark and saying, I recognize that you are worthy of compassion. I will not engage and I will not support I will not encourage, I will not enable. But when you're ready, I offer you the tools. It's like, you are the leader, you are the way seer for people. It's like, I, I'm gonna show you the path by, by following the path, by creating the path. And I will not go back and I will not wait for you or I will not not go and create the path and just wait until you're ready and then we'll all go at once. Like I will not slow down because that is not the way that I am supposed to do it. Like I will create the path and when you are ready, you are allowed to continue down this path. You are allowed to use my story, or my inspiration, or my journey to serve as proof that you can do it too. Or you can, you can, you can trust, you can trust that there are good people in the world. Like you, are a represent representative that there is goodness in this world. This connection has shown you in some ways to ignore the chaos of this world. For you to turn your gaze towards love. And in that, his, his empowered, has, has solidified, it's almost like, it's almost like a ship that is sinking or burning. It's like a burning and sinking. And you are this rock that's out in the middle of the ocean that people can cling to, that people can, can find. 
that people can hold on to and, and you know, thousands and thousands of people can hold on to this rock and that doesn't make the rock any weaker. It doesn't make it, you know, sink. It stays sturdy, it stays strong, it stays as it is. And that's what you are. It doesn't change, right? The rock doesn't change. And I just, I get this feeling of an explosion. I, and, it, and it feels like, like a ship, like a rocket ship that breaks through the atmosphere, you know? Where it's like when it propels and then it takes, I don't know, I don't remember the sequences, but it's like they have to release the bottom half and then break out of the atmosphere to like push through. And I see that, it's like you pushing, pushing past. And this relationship is teaching you that you, you have to press the button. You have to press the button and propel out of there, out of the atmosphere. And uh, seek this new world, create this new world, explore these different horizons and, and bring back that information, right? there's only select astronauts that can go you can't just be like okay well everyone wants to go or everyone's got to go with us so we better wait like no you have to go you're the professional in this you were meant to do this <laughs> don't wait for Justin Bieber or whoever it was that wants to go on the <laughs> spaceship to go he's not going to do nothing you know no offense but I mean he'll do something he'll be entertaining but come on now <laughs> <laughs> and just a side note to um there's something about fashion like you're very fashionable <laughs> So maybe this connection is really teaching you uh, the blessing and this connection is really highlighting how maybe also fashion is a trend, like you're a trendsetter. So that's what I see. This was a little bit different for this pile. <laughs> um, do I see anything more here? I just see this, 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 the blessing in this is really sh highlighting how different you are. It's like you look different, you think different, you are different, even your past, like your past lives, um, like the world that you even come from is very different. And so this is really showing you that the reason why there's so much complexity and confusion potentially in you making a decision or you feeling stuck or you feeling misunderstood or you feeling or recognizing that darkness is because it's, it's you can't relate in that way. Like on a lower, on a lower, more um, like human level, you know, like the, the perspective that carries through with you that you're kind of, you know, recognizing on a human way you're trying to make sense of, like that's very confusing for you because you don't, you're not used to that incarnation after incarnation after incarnation you have existed oftentimes in a world that does not exist the way that this does, the earth does. And so you have experienced a lot of the darker aspects because 
you're meant to transmute it. You're meant to change that. You're meant to um, help those that are in those scenarios. Again, by saying enough is enough. You have to respect yourself more by doing better for yourself, by loving people more, by being kind to others, right? Like when, when people are genuinely loving and kind and good to others, oftentimes they really love themselves and respect themselves. You know, like they might have their own struggles, but ultimately there is that deeper love. So, this connection has really taught you to break free. Break free um, It's just, it feels like a secret. Like, I, I, there's something that I'm not saying, and so I'm kind of <laughs> staying here longer talking to you because there's something that's a secret. It's like a secret of your soul. <laughs> a secret of your light, of your journey, where um, this connection is going to, again, it's that feeling of... Uh, propelling you forward it's a propulsion is that the word propulsion where it pushes you through this connection is going to cause that if it hasn't caused it already where it's going to be just this major jump a major jump but you have to choose you have to choose to face something first and then that is going to, it's like a test. It's like a spiritual test. And that's going to push you to that next level. It's like, okay, you pass this test that you've set for yourself, predestiny, right? Pre, pre-birth. And as you accept that choice, you honor that choice, you honor that mission, that is the signal for you to go. And it just, it feels like it's, it's like um, deeply tied into ancient wisdom. And right now, it's like, the best way I could describe it is a trap door that you are not aware of. And behind this trap door is a world that exists that you're not aware of, but it exists which means that people are still living there. People are carrying on. Just because you're not aware of it doesn't mean that they're not developing and moving and changing and evolving and all of this. That's hidden from you. That's secret from you. So when this connect, this connection, the blessing of this connection is giving you the opportunity to choose to get to that next level and as you do as you propel forward is going to simultaneously bust that trap door down and you are going to be open to a whole nother world and reality that you were not privy to prior to this connection So that's what I see and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.